Good news out of Kolkata, India. A college in India is letting applicants select humanity as their religion. Bethune College in Kolkata, India, unveiled its online application for next year's students. There was a new option under the menu for religion. Students can now select humanity. In fact, one school official said she wanted students to avoid putting down something explicitly non-religious so that this was a way for applicants to say they believe in something. Mamata Ray Chowdhury, principal of the college, said that humanity is above every religion and is better to have faith in humanity rather than becoming a non-believer at a young age. So, yeah, they, they definitely are attacking atheism. But it's it's good to see them finally on, on documents. They're moving towards something, you know, different. Wait, so what was the last thing? Uh, do you want to pick humanity over what? Like Over no? saying that you're a non-believer. So the, oh. uh, I think that, uh, okay, so the reason why I said this is good news out of Kolkata is it there. It is good news. It, it is, right? Yeah. Uh, even though they're they're trying to discourage people from saying they're an atheist, they yeah. want to show that people believe in something. But it's great that they're they're at least admitting that you know, uh, believing they're, in humanity is is better than anything else. Well, I mean, they're not saying it's better than anything. You know, I mean, it's a it's a it's a small win, and technically, humanity is not a religion, and technically, this is a bit anti-atheist because they they're like. You know what? Let's not give a let's not give non belief to people. Let's just give belief in something else to people. And you could be nitpicky about that and be like, "Well, what the hell? No, we don't believe in any religion." But still, they are acknowledging that some people don't have any religion, right? They're acknowledging. Right. It's a, it's They're a, acknowledging that. Right. So thank. I mean, it's a small. It's a. We'll take it, right? I, we right. could be upset about like, wait. So you guys hate atheism so much that you have to put humanity over like non, like an option that says none there. Like you don't. We could be upset about that, but you know we don't get that much wins. So. Because yeah, we don't get that much friends, we should we should just be taking whatever we can get. So thank, thank you, uh, Kolkata. We'll take chat. this. And I just wanted to oh. acknowledge that because he's going to be leaving soon. Okay. Um, attacks like these prove the LGBTQ community is still fighting against hate. Yes, things are better, but we still have a ways to go. Yes. I have to go now watching a movie. Thank you so much, Chris. Thank you, Chris. Uh, that was about the previous news, by the way. But um, So if, if people are wondering. But thank you, uh, Chris. Thank you so much for the super chat. That's very generous. Um, but th this is good news from Kolkata. And it's uh, weird because we, we, ha we, we haven't been getting <laughs> much good news from India. So it's refreshing to get some good news. By the way, is Subham in the live chat? Because Subham will uh, tell us something. Yes, Subham is still with us. Okay, so I'm saying I agree that this is anti-atheist, but I still take it as a good news. Yes, me too. We can't, we can't, as atheists, we can't afford to be that picky right now. We really can't. So. <laughs> right. Um, so let me see. Matthew is saying there's, there needs to be a non-option. Yes, that would have been a better option, like religion. Uh, so right now, let's see what it has. The options are... Wait, why is humanism at uh, humanity at the very top? It's very interesting. Oh, it's alphabetical. So... So it says humanity, Hinduism, Islam, Christian. It's not Sikh alphabetical. Oh, it's not. Sikhism, Buddhism, Jainism, others. Um, yeah, it would have been great if the instead of humanity it was none because humanity is not a religion. But again, we're not going to be too picky about it. Another person is saying, actually, it's better to be humanist than an atheist. What? Th those are not mutually exclusive. <laughs> no, they're not. They're not mutually exclusive. Uh, a humanist is also an atheist, but not vice versa. I'm not. I'm gonna. St should I stop reading this because this is bullshit? Yeah. A humanist is also <laughs> an atheist, but not vice versa. That is logically, like, if a humanist is an atheist, then an atheist could also be a humanist. Right. But I'm gonna stop reading the rest of this. Should I stop reading? This is one of the top comments. Okay. Let me read the rest of it. Being a humanist, let's one make some right choices, value, logic, reason, science, evidence, and above all, survival and well-being of humanity. I have seen anti-vaxxers and flat earth for atheists. What's the point of being such an atheist? Oh my god, there's uh, so much nonsense in this. It's going to take me... I have Okay, Ali, sorry, I have to go on a rant. Okay, first of all, we on this show have called out atheists that are not humanists all the time. There are a lot of atheists that support violence, support support bigotry, support homophobia, and we call them out every time. So uh, we do acknowledge that humanism and atheism are not the same thing, 
Um, we are both atheists and humanists, and that just proves what you're saying. That yeah, atheists can't. You're saying atheists cannot be humanists. Bullshit. A lot of atheists are humanists. A lot of religious people are humanists as well. But atheists and humanism are not mutually exclusive. Some people are both. And just because humanism is a good thing, that doesn't mean being an atheist is not a good thing. Atheism is a, a, has gotten an answer to a very important question right. It's not enough. It's not enough. Obviously, it's not enough because there are answers to other questions. But the question of whether or not there's an evidence for the existence of God or not, the answer to that is no, there's no evidence. And if you agree with me on that, you're an atheist. And that's a very important question to get right. Is that enough? No, there are so many other important questions. Should we torture people randomly? No. Is that covered under atheism? No, it's not because atheism doesn't address that question. Humanism addresses that question. But just because you get the answer to some questions right on some on a, under another category, that doesn't mean it's not important to get the question the question of whether or not there's a god or not or whether there's an evidence for that. That's also an important question to get right. That's also an important question to get right. So humanism by itself also doesn't cover all important ev everything, right? Here's the thing: is there is there um, uh, are some plant animals going extinct extinct or not? Is is that is that a fact or not? You know, is that maybe you, you get the answer right or you get the answer wrong? Is that covered under humanism? No. Humanism, just like humanism doesn't answer every freaking question, every important question out there. Atheism also doesn't answer every important question out there. Doesn't mean that they're both not important. They're both important. They're both addressing different topics. You, you can't be like, oh, humanism is, you know, it's more important to me than being a humanist. Okay, well, then focus on your humanism. Don't, don't pretend like it's interesting that you're bringing anti-vaxxers on right so you're saying yeah anti vax so you're saying a lot of atheists are anti-vaxxers yes and we call them out we call them out atheists that are anti-vaxxers we call them out but guess what anti-vax being getting the question on whether at va vaccines are harmful or not that's a very important question to ask and answer the answer is not uh, the, the vaccines are not harmful a vaccine are very important right but again that's only a single issue that doesn't cover other things right so if you if you're a humanist you could be a humanist that is an anti-vaxxer because you got uh, an important question you got it wrong you got an important question you got the answer to that question wrong so does that mean just because you're a humanist you, that it's not important to get the anti-vax question right or not what if you're a humanist that got that believes in other forms of superstition that could cause harm to you and your family and the people that you love you're still a humanist is it not important to get the answer to those other questions right it's very interesting to me that a lot of people try to make you know humanism as something that versus atheism they they are different categories they're both important and they, it's important that you get both of these right uh does that make sense ali mm -hmm. joseph is saying secular humanism is pretty nice moral system to follow it's still evolving but it works better than any religious uh, pronouncements and yeah again uh, the reason why a lot of people think atheism and humanism are the same which they're not is because religions by their very religious teaching are anti-humanist and that's why you might see a lot of overlap between atheists and humanists because a lot of people have rejected religion because of their humanism but that doesn't mean that they're the same and that doesn't mean that they're mutually exclusive it doesn't suggest either of those did you you just see a lot of overlap because of the, because a lot of people left their religion because they were uh, and they had anti-humanist teachings. Um, anyways, should I go to Ali? Did you want to add anything? No, let's go to the next news. Oh wait, Christy said something. Being a uh, Christy is saying being a secular humanist is way more important to me than my lack of belief in God or gods. But atheism is a big part of why I feel that humanism is important. Okay, that's fair. Spot that's on. Fair. Yeah, fair yeah. Fair. love it. Okay, so but here's the thing. Then the people say, "Then why are you not the humanist republic? Why are you the atheist republic?" Because of our humanism. Okay, 
The reason why we're a the Atheist Republic is because atheists are a group of people that are discriminated against and there is not that much advocacy out for them, right? So our focus on atheism is not because we think that the, getting the answer to the, you know, God question is more important than other questions. It's, it's because of the humanism part that we've, okay, here's the thing. I think even if you're not an atheist, you should see why advocacy for atheists is important. If you're a humanist, whether you're an atheist or not an atheist, advocacy for the rights of atheists will become important to you as a humanist. Do you see what I'm saying here? But g given that they are one of the most discriminated groups in the world, and one of the groups that has the least amount of advocacy groups out there for them. So little that most people can get away with doing whatever they want to atheists. And this has nothing to do with whether or not you're an atheist or not. If you're a humanist, even if you're a Muslim humanist or a Christian humanist, you should want atheist advocacy groups because there's not that much out there. Um, yeah, let me see. Wait, another person saying also why why a university is asking for students' religion? Oh, wait, that's a good question. Why are they even asking for people's this? Actually, the best option for, would be to just remove this question. Why didn't we even think about that? Thank you, person that I cannot read their name. Um, <laughs> Why does, why this, why is, why are they even asking this? This should be, wouldn't it be the, the best option would be just remove this. This is a university questionnaire, right? Ali, why do they even have this? Well, um, so that's definitely based in culture. I know that there are a lot of places, like especially in Pakistan, and correct me if I'm wrong, this is what I've heard from people. Um, in Pakistan, you have to, on many of your, your official documents, state your religion. So I think that this might just be one of those things that's just, you know, oh. stuck. GV just answered us. GV is saying we have affirmative action based on religion in India. Well, that's there you go. well, that's bullshit. Atheists are under attack in many places. If they were Christians, their voices would be heard. If they were Jews, their voices would be heard. If they were Muslims, their voices would be heard. But they are atheists, and not many seem to be listening. Let's make it difficult for them to ignore us. We have built a global community, and now we are tearing down geographic, cultural, and language barriers so we can find each other and support each other. In the last decade, we have built the largest atheist community in the world. Now we are doing the same in other languages. With your help, we have started Atheist Republic in Persian and Arabic. انضميت مؤخرا لأسرة Atheist Republic وحيصير عندي بودكاست باللغة العربية As we grow, we can dedicate more time, staff and resources to start doing the same in Spanish, Portuguese, Malay, Bengali, Urdu, Hindi and other languages. We are providing community, support, informative content and amplifying the voices of those who need protection, especially in countries where people feel isolated simply for their lack of belief. We want to be there for them, and we are only getting started. Help us get there. Check in the description for ways you can support our projects.